Hey everyone, welcome to part 125 of my Pokemon game series in Unity. So in the previous video, we looked at how to move the Pokemon between the party and box slots. But while we were moving the Pokemon, we did not have any indication that we were moving it. Right. So in this video, we'll show an image like this above our selection to indicate that we are moving a Pokemon. Okay. So it's going to look like this. When we select a Pokemon from the slot, we'll change the position of its image to a bit above the slot, right? And when we change the selection, the position of that image will change accordingly. Okay. So yeah, let's look at how to implement this. By the way, you can support the making of the series on Patreon and get access to some cool rewards like the complete project files of the series exclusive tutorials and access to the Discord community. There is even an entire course on Patreon that covers the creation of a 3D Pokemon game like this. So if you ever wanted to learn to create 3D RPGs, then check out this course on Patreon. The first few videos are free to watch if you want to just try it out. So first, let's create the image to show the Pokemon that we are moving. So let me go inside the UI canvas and from here, let me go inside the box slots and we can just make a copy of this image to create another image for showing the Pokemon that we're moving. So I'll just copy this image from here and I'll paste it into the right game object. Let me paste it as a child. Okay. And I'll just name this as moving Pokemon image. Okay. And we can also try changing its position. Okay, the image is quite big right now. So what I'll do is I'll set its width and height to 75, like we do for the box slot. Okay, I'll select it and change the anchor to center and then I'll change the width and height to 75 okay and I'll just place it over here the placement doesn't really matter we're going to change its position from the code okay so now we need to get a reference to it from the Pokemon storage UI so let me open up the Pokemon storage UI script and from here I'll create a serialized field reference for the moving Pokemon image. Okay. And now, when we take a Pokemon from the slot, we have to set that Pokemon's image onto the moving Pokemon image. Right. So how can we get the image of the Pokemon that we just took. So we have the index of the slot and we have a list of box slots, right? But we can't get the image from the box slot directly. So to make this easy, what I'll do is I'll create another list over here, a list of images, and I'll call this box slot images. Okay. So this will store a reference to all the images in our box slot. And let's actually set it from the awake function. So to get the box slot images, we can go through all the box slots. So I'll use the select function for that. And we can directly call the get component image on each box slot. The reason is because if you look at our box slot or our party slot, you can see that the image of the Pokemon is a child of the box slot, right? The image that's directly attached to the box slot is the background image. Okay. The actual image of the Pokemon is actually a child of the box slot. So we can't call get the component directly on the box slot. Instead, we have to call it on its child so to get its child we can use get child function 
and since the box slot only has a single child we can pass 0 as the index all right and we can get the image like this okay so finally I'll just turn this into a list and we'll have a list of images in the box slot images variable okay and while we are in the awake we can also disable the move moving pokemon image because we don't want it to be active by default right we only want to activate it when we take a pokemon from the slot okay so now we have a list of box images so now we can set so now we can set the image of the pokemon that we took from the slot to our moving pokemon image right so first to get the image i'll say box slot images of slot index and we want the sprite of this image right so i'll use dot sprite to get the sprite and I'll set it as the sprite of the moving Pokemon image. Okay, so next we have to set the position of this image. So the position of the image will be a bit above the slot, like this, right? So let's set the position. So I'll say moving Pokemon image dot transform dot position equal to box slot images. Of slot index dot transform dot position and we want the position to be a bit above the position of the box slot so I'll add a little bit of offset so I'll say factor 3 dot up multiplied by an offset like 50 okay so next once you take the Pokemon from the slot we should not also show it in the image of the slot right so to do that what we can do is we can just set the alpha of the box slot image to zero so i'll say box slot images of slot index dot color equal to new color of 111 which stands for white and then i'll change the alpha to zero so that it won't be visible okay by default the color of the image will be white because we are not using the color we are setting it by using the image right so by default the color will be white but if we change the alpha to zero then the image will be invisible okay so finally i'll make our moving pokemon image active okay so yeah, this is all we have to do to show the Pokemon's image in the moving Pokemon image. Okay. So next, once we put the Pokemon back into the slot, we can disable the moving Pokemon image. Okay. So let me disable it from here. And we don't have to do anything else like setting the alpha back to one because after we put the Pokemon back into the slot we will call set data in both the storage and party slots which will change everything in all our images right it will also set the alpha so we don't have to set the alpha back to one when we put it back into the slot okay so let's try testing this now so first we have to assign the moving pokemon image reference in the pokemon storage ui so let me go ahead and do that okay and now let me try testing this all right so let me go to boxes and now if i select a pokemon from here as you can see that the pokemon is removed from the slot image and it is added to our moving Pokemon image but now if we change our selection the moving Pokemon image doesn't change its position accordingly so let's also do that so we can actually do that by overriding the update selection in UI function okay 
so this function will be called whenever a selection changes right so when a selection changes and if the moving pokemon image is active during that change so i'll use game object dot active self to check if it's active so if it's active we have to change the position of the moving pokemon image based on the position of the selected slot right so let me change its position so we can just copy this code for the position right it will be positioned slightly above the slot and in this case we can't use the slot index instead we have to use the selected item okay so now our moving pokemon image should move accordingly so let me try testing it again okay so yeah now you can see that when i move the selection the pokemon is also moved okay so that looks much better it looks like we are moving the pokemon okay so there's also one edge case that we need to fix so if i try to move a pokemon to some invalid position then the alpha of this image is still zero and it's invisible right so that is happening because from our storage state we are only calling the set data in slots if we move the pokemon into a valid slot right if the moving was not successful then we are not calling the set data functions so we also have to call it even if the moving is not successful right so yeah that should fix the issue so let's try testing it again okay so now if i try to move a pokemon to an invalid position you can see that we don't have that issue anymore okay so everything else is working so this gives us a feel that we are moving the pokemon right so yeah that looks much better when we move the pokemon so i'll stop the video here thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video